Rizan bin Ali. Uh, saya pesara tentera dan juga sekarang ni buat kerja sendirilah. Uh, saya ketua pengurusi penyelesaian dan rayuan lah, Kampung Berembang. Memang ni dia wujud uh, 50 tahun yang dahululah Masa dekat nak mencapai kemerdekaan Dan masa tu kalau ikut dia sejarah dia, uh, dia adalah lombong uh, Nak kata orang uh, orang kampung tidak Sebab saya ni dilahirkan uh, tempat yang berbeza lah Dilahirkan di Rembau dan dibesarkan di Port Dixon dan dibawa ke Johor Dan saya berkhidmat dengan tentera, dengan tentera di, di, di mana? Dan di Kuala Lumpur saya terpaksa bertumpu lumus dekat bandar untuk menaikkan taraf hidup. Kan? Inilah dia. Apabila penuh ke bandar di berada, penempatan penduduk tu ramai. Jadi di sinilah perkembangannya. Apabila kita meningkat dewasa, kita tidak akan duduk di kampung. Banyak anak-anak muda akan berhijrah. Dia akan berhijrah ke bandar untuk menentukan nasib masa depan dia. Di mana ini ya. Kalau saya balik ke kampung, apa yang saya dapat? Gaji saya dekat sini yang saya nampak di Kuala Lumpur ni membangun. Eh? Kita tahu satu bandar pusat yang tengah membangun. Kita lupa sebenarnya. Kenapa kita lupa? Kenapanya wujudnya uh, penuh ke bandar, kenapa wujudnya setinggal? Uh, nak menduduki rumah yang disediakan oleh kerajaan. Rumah kos rendah. Kata gaji yang umur, yang bawah daripada RM2,500. Tetapi kalau kita buat loan, bank tak luluskan, macam mana kita nak dapat? Itu yang akan keuntungan, bawa uh, buat kondominium yang bernilai berjuta-juta ringgit. Sedangkan kita, rakyat orang yang ada di bandar ni, yang macam kita ni, tak boleh memiliki rumah macam tu. Kenapa kita ni sebagai orang yang macam eh, gaji rendah, yang gaji yang seribu, dua, eh, dua ribu ke bawah, memiliki, nak memiliki rumah, satu rumah teres pun tak boleh, nak memiliki kondom minium pun tak boleh, sedangkan nak memiliki rumah pangsa rokos rendah pun tak boleh. Satu keluarga, satu rumah. Ini yang kita nak. Kan? Ha.
This is Masjid Jami. A beautiful river that runs between the mosque and the LRT station. Uh, surrounded by all and all of this. Buildings, tall buildings everywhere. The taller the building, the better our country. God, it smells like pee! Oh, what's the smell? Can you read? This is Mustafa's and this is situated in Wangsa Maju and as you can see um, the guy who actually is making the burgers um, his name is Mustafa's and he is from the United States uh, at, at this spot just okay. six months and prior to oh. that I was wow. right up the street at Zitney Bakery for six months Okay, okay um, before then, I started out, not this Ramadan, but the Ramadan okay. that passed before. Okay. I started right down there. Uh, okay. Everybody was telling me, because you know, I was just doing catering when I first got here. Oh, catering. Uh, and all, okay. the, all the friends, you know, oh wow, man, why don't you just open up a stall and see how it goes, see how people yeah. like it. Uh, and then when I said, I said, wow. So I said, okay. hey. Okay. I hit on some now, I don't create a monster. growing and your PM said by 2020 that y'all want to be a developed country yeah per se so I feel like I'm growing up with you guys oh, nice. you know what I'm nice. saying yeah so by growing with you I can get some of that profit <laughs> <laughs>
mall in Bay Lee. Okay. And other than this, uh, Cap Square Mall. Okay. Cap okay. Square. Okay. Okay. Ah, Alamanda. Uh, other than that, Mines. Mines. I guess that's it lah. Yes, library. Many libraries. Yes. Do you know any libraries? Uh, it's very, very hard question. Mm, tak tahu. Okay. Okay, tu aja. Well, usually library yang pergi dekat library bandar berbangi. Oh, okay. So, after running around with my roommates the other day, um, I think that KL is not as dull. Because, you know, we thought that we've known KL um, that well and all. But then, yeah. It turned out to be um, an, an adventurous journey. I noticed that I don't really know KL as, um, as I thought I do because there's a lot of places, dodgy places or um, places that I've never been before. To me, it's funny that I'm supposed to know all this. I mean, I'm not obliged to know all these places, but at least have an idea of how it's like. You don't have to go outside. KL. You know, we don't have to use that much of money to eat um, really food. Like, I know where the best burger is. Okay. Certain areas where when you say KL, you think development right away. But at the same time, then you have places uh, or villages where it's not totally developed. When you go into a new place, you mindset yourself that you're going to see new things. We all know the touristy stuff about KL, right? But we don't know the other side. So when in the process of finding out the, the ironies of KL, we found out about the, the city of ourselves and you know what we can do to make it better individually. A certain disparity between um, certain social classes. So to say that KL is is a totally concrete jungle, I think it's a it's a wrong perception. Every every city, every country has its own unwanted. No? Like KL, we have our own unwanted and there, there is more life and there is a soul to the city. The, the fact that the something is different. Nevertheless, it still doesn't it, it still doesn't top off the wantedness of it. I mean, whatever it is, I will still live in KL. But despite its horrible public transition, despite all that everything. Let's go on a trip again to KL. <laughs>
Thank you.